Today, we'll derive the formulae for distance between two parallel lines. Now, consider two lines. The first line with equation y is equal to mx plus c1 and the second line with equation y is equal to mx plus c2. Now, I have to derive the formulae for the distance between these two parallel lines. How would I do that? Consider this line. The x-intercept of this line, that is the point where y is equal to 0, that is y is equal to mx plus c2. Now, if y is equal to 0, then mx plus c2 is equal to 0. Then x is equal to minus c2 by m. So, x is equal to minus c2 by m. So, I will mark it as minus c2 by m comma 0. We know that distance from a point x1, y1 to the line ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is this. Now, we shall apply this formula here. Let the distance between these two parallel lines is d. I will try to find out the distance from this point to this line. I have the equation y is equal to mx plus c1 y is equal to mx plus c1. Distance from the point minus c2 by m comma 0 to this line. So, I should apply this formula here. So, I can write this as mx minus y plus c1 is equal to 0. So, what did I write here? From this equation, I can say that a is equal to m, b is equal to minus 1, c is equal to c1. And from the point x1, y1. So, here minus c2 by m comma 0 are our points x1 and y1. So, x1 is minus c2 by m, y1 is 0. So, the distance d is equal to mod of ax1. So, it is m into minus c2 by m plus b y1. b is minus 1, y1 is 0 plus c. What is c? c is c1 by root over a square plus b square. What is a square? a square is nothing but m square plus what is b square? minus 1 whole square. Now this equal to mod of minus c2 this is 0 plus c1 by root over m square plus 1 square which is equal to mod of c1 minus c2 by root over m square plus 1. Now I got d is equal to c1 minus c2 by root over 1 plus m square. This equation is for the lines y is equal to mx plus c1 and y is equal to mx plus c2. I can say one thing that if the equations are like this ax plus by plus c1 is equal to 0 and ax plus by plus c2 is equal to 0. Instead of y is equal to mx plus c1 and y is equal to mx plus c2, if we have the equations like this, like ax plus by plus c1 equal to 0 and ax plus by plus c2 equal to 0. Now, this above formula will be the numerator will be the same mod of c1 minus c2 instead of root over 1 plus m square we will have root over a square plus b square. So this is the distance between two parallel lines that is d is equal to mod of c1 minus c2 by root over a square plus b square. Now let us look at a small example. Find the distance between the parallel lines 8x minus 6y plus 7 equal to 0 and 8x minus 6y plus 17 equal to 0. We know that the distance between two parallel lines is d is equal to mod of c1 minus c2 by root over a square plus b square. What is c1? From the first equation we can see that c1 is equal to plus 7 and from this equation we can say that c2 is equal to 17. Coming to a and b values, what is the coefficient of x? 
it is 8 and it is equal to the a value the coefficient of b is equal to minus 6 and it is equal to the b value so d is equal to mod of 7 minus 17 by root over 8 whole square plus minus 6 whole square which is equal to mod of minus 10 by root over 64 plus 36 which is equal to 10 by root 100 which is equal to 10 by 10 which is equal to 1 unit so the distance between these two parallel lines is d and it is equal to 1 unit we should be careful while keeping this modular value and we should be careful while keeping this minus and positive signs this ends our session with distance between two parallel lines. Let us look at some more problems and the exercise problems in the next session. If you like the video, please hit the like button, comment and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe for all our future videos.